when you arrive here, you know this is your last world championship. So you always think about it. And then maybe this makes also the difference that you get a little bit more relaxed to the racing and you a little bit more focused what we, you learned over the 30 years now of sailing. We knew it's very hard to, to beat Alinghi. We, we had a really good week, but they always were sitting in our nick. It was really tight racing uh, with Alinghi. They were catching up on uh, really some points on the first race where we had some mistakes. We got two penalties and then uh, uh, we fought back. We sailed the third and the first, so we were again ahead. Then the fourth race turned around. We did a little mistake. Alinghi was already in the back, but uh, then the overhauled us, managed to be ahead of us. At the end, they had three points advantage to us. We knew, okay, we have to win the race. Whoever is ahead, is was uh, in the end winning and uh, we were ahead, two boats, which we needed. And at the end, on the last downwind, we saw they broke the daggerboard and we don't know how good the boat can perform with one daggerboard. We tried very, very long and very, very hard. But at the end, now everything came together. To all teams, to all teams, this is the GC32 race director. Results after the last race here on the GC32 World Championship. Team Alinghi, 43 points. Red Bull Sailing Team, 43 points. Equal points for these boats, team. Based on the result of the last race and on countback, Red Bull Sailing Team wins the GC32. We were same points with Alinghi, we were better in the last race, so we won it in the end. It was very emotional and the, and the celebration was really cool. Finishing with such a, a great win, a world title in the GC32 class, I think that's style.